Well, guys, in what is a shock to no one, the new health secretary has joined Matt Hancock in proving he's just another puppet. I guess at least he hasn't been caught belt-feeding his hired help the pork sword while telling you to keep it in your trousers lest you kill your granny. Of course, I say that because as far as we know, Sajir Javid hasn't been cavalier with his meat and two veg, but I guess you never know in this day and age. Anyway, this tit who I have seen people say will be different to Hancock gave a little speech to Parliament a few moments ago, which was mostly filled with mind-melting bullshit, but at the end he did what many ministers have done in the past year. Of course, I'm talking about his Build Back Better bullshit that he pumped out like a complete and utter sock puppet. Here, take a listen for yourself for anyone who thinks this fuck pig's gonna be any different to the last one. The Prime Minister has called it our terminus state. For me, 19th July is not only the end of the line, but the start of an exciting new journey for our country. So, Mr Deputy Speaker, at this crucial moment in our fight back against this pandemic, we must keep our resolve and keep on our roadmap to freedom so that together we can beat this pandemic and we can build back better. It is a task that I am deeply honoured to lead and one I know will succeed. I commend this statement to the House. Now obviously this won't surprise some of you, but to others expecting some magical change you've literally got two hopes, Bob Hope and no fucking hope at all. Him throwing out his little tribute to his masters is always good though in my mind, it keeps them in plain sight for all to see. It also shows just how demented they are thinking these three word catchphrases are actually something great. It worked with Brexit because the people wanted it. The same is not true for this bullshit you want to force on them. Build back better somewhere else because the people just don't give a fuck. 